Today, I'm gonna to take a web app that I created while vibe coding, and I'm gonna turn it into a mobile app, and then I'm gonna add database and send it to the app store. So we're gonna take an app that we vibe coded. Millions of people are vibe coding web apps right now on tools like Lovable, Replit, and Vibe Code. And then we're gonna take this app, we're gonna use Claude Opus 4.5, and by the end of this video, it will be fully sent to the App Store. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Let's dive in. So this right here is an app that I made in just a couple prompts when I was testing Gemini when it just came out. But what it does is it allows me to switch between a bunch of different themes so that when I make a mobile app, I can quickly just copy this. And what this does is this just copies a prompt to my clipboard. That's all it does. So it allows me to browse themes and then copy it, which is why I bought the domain copytheme.com. So this site is called copytheme.com. Now, I don't think it's that good. And I actually wanna turn it into a mobile app. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm basically just going to write out all of the features of the app, as I just explained. See phone on the middle of screen. On the right, I can browse all the themes. When I click on the theme, it shows me what the theme looks like, amazing. And then when I'm looking at the theme, I can quickly copy the theme and add it to my app. And I can copy the prompt that describes the theme. That's basically the extent of the app that I created. And we're actually gonna make, we're gonna add more features to this app. We're gonna make a feature rich app and we're gonna go to vibecode.dev. We're gonna build an app with AI. We're not gonna write a single line of code. We're gonna give it a database. We're gonna give it some AI integrations or some other integrations and I'll get to that later. And we're also going to add a paywall for premium features. Then we're gonna ship it to the App Store. We're gonna do that right now in this video. Okay, so here we are on vibecode.dev and all we need to do is say, I wanna create an app that allows me to do the following. And since I wrote out all of the features of the app, I can just paste that in here. I want authentication so that all of the users are stored in the database. I want to be able to see how many themes have been copied so that we can keep track of the most popular themes. The way I want this to look is a white background and then I want there to be like a phone mock-up that takes up like 60% of the screen. And then on the bottom, I want to be able to like horizontally scroll in a really cool way between the different themes and the themes should show up there. I want you to start off with five basic themes and I want you to set this up in a way that we can actually add really high quality designs that are different for each screen. We're gonna be adding a ton of themes. I'm gonna be asking you to add a ton of single screens that show off a certain theme and each of these screens are gonna be different depending on uh, the theme and I want you to show off like, the best quality. So really think about how to do that in a way that we could in theory add like a hundred different screens all with different themes. So implement it with that in mind. Okay, so this is a pretty juicy prompt here. Now we're going to enable the back end and we're going to run it. So this is going to create a full stack application with a front end which we'll render right here and we will be able to see all of the info about the back end. And this cloud database, our tables are gonna be generated. It's going to be awesome. And it's still going. This has been, this has taken about three or four minutes so far. As you can see, it's creating the sign-in page. It's adding the database. It's working on the schema. Very cool. Okay, it appears that it is almost done. There we go. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is let's just go ahead and test this. So if I copy this theme, we see that design a minimal finance screen. Okay, this is very cool. We see, okay, wait, can I scroll? I can scroll. Okay, it's not the highest quality. I kind of like this, luxury and modern. Very, very interesting. Okay, oh, and we see one copy. If we go into the cloud, we can see there's five themes. We also have theme copy. So it's storing all of the times that one of these are copied. So if we were to copy this theme, it should show up here and it does. Okay, so it is being stored in the database. I am not signed in though. So it didn't have me sign in. So maybe we can do that in a second. We actually don't need to add off yet. Um, I wanna mess with the design because I just wanna make it look good first. Okay, if 
first thing that I want to do is I want to edit the five apps that are in the app right now. I want the first one to be Neo Brutalism and I want this to be, that's kind of the era I want to go. I want you to think deep about like what types of themes there are like Neo Brutalism. There's also one called Graphite and these should all have like fonts that really match this theme. I also want you to get rid of where it says themes and the it says the amount of themes available. We don't need that. And I also want you to put a copy button, the copy button to the right of the phone and make the phone taller and make sure it matches the aspect ratio of an actual iPhone. So like right now the font, the stuff inside the phone looks a little too big for the phone. I want it to be a little bit smaller just so it looks like a full phone. Okay, and again, we're using Claude Opus 4.5. Let's go ahead and run it. Okay, very interesting. Interesting. You can see it's making changes. This information got a little bit smaller. This this got a little bit bigger, which is pretty cool. Ooh, let's go. Oh, wow. This is actually crazy, bro. Wait, let's look at some of these other ones. Ooh, this one's kind of nice. Damn. Okay, okay. Okay, what do we want to do here? Okay, I want you to make the little side scroll at the bottom, like those squares, a little bit bigger. And instead of it being centered in the center of the phone, I want it to be centered with the phone display that's showing up there, if that makes sense. And then I want them to be bigger. Right now, they're a little bit small. I want them to be bigger. And right now for the icon, make the each one's icon the, the same. So pick an icon, maybe a phone screen, and put it there. We'll edit each one of the icons later. I just want you to make these bigger cards. Make them look better. Think like a designer, make them look better and center it so that it's even with the center of the display. And the name of the type should actually be bigger within this card and get rid of where it, sh it shows the name next to the phone, like to the right of the phone display underneath the copy button. I want just for it to show the amount of copies it has. And instead below the above the copy button, please put in cursive font copy, copy theme. Just put copy on one line and then below it put theme for another line and make it look elegant and choose a better Make the, the copy button a little bit lighter and choose a different, more fun icon for that. Okay, we're adding another styling theme. I really want this to look good. I, I really like the way this app looks. I'm gonna add like 30 themes to this and then I can very easily copy this. Oh, I just realized when I go to copy, I want there to be build a build in vibe code button should pop up and when I click on it, it should link to the vibe code app. I wanna see if I can figure that out too. Okay, oh yeah, let's go. This looks much better. Very cool, copy, boom. It's all stored in the database. Right here we can see all of these. This is very, very, very cool. Okay, I realize how we're gonna monetize this. We're gonna have like five free themes and then we're going to have like 45 more paid themes for like a one-time payment of like, let's say $10. I think that's really cool. I think that might be a good way to do it. Or maybe like we'll do like $3.99 or something. What I wanna add next though, because the thing that I care about most, I want you to now make the copy experience much more fun. So that when you copy one of these themes, what it should do is it should an it should be more animated when you press that button. And I want you to actually make that copy theme button, make it a like square that looks 3D and when you click it, it should have a light animation on the button. Then right when it's done animating on the button, a bottom sheet pop-up should come up and it's like, you copied the theme. And then I want you to add uh, whatever was copied to the clipboard or whatever gets copied to the clipboard should show up there in like a component on it. But at the top, it should say build on vibe code. And if you search, and then what I want you to do is I want you to create like a link to vibe code and it should link to the vibe code app. Search the internet and figure out how to create it so that when I click on that, with my phone, it links to the vibe code app so that I can paste it into that and use that theme as a prompt in the vibe code app. This would be a cool lead magnet. Okay, so it looks like it's done. Let's go ahead and give this a test here. We can hit copy. Okay, nice. It has build on vibe code if we view the copied text. That's pretty cool. What I wanna test here is build on vibe code. Okay, so I'm testing it on my phone as well and it's doing the same thing. It's taking me to the app store rather than the app. And so I asked my team and apparently 
you have to put this in. So we can just tell the AI that. Okay, when I press the build on vibe code button, it takes me to the app store, which shows the app. Rather, if the user has the app, I want it to take them to the actual app. Use this. Okay, so apparently this should work. Okay, well, I just realized that I'm testing it on my phone right now using the Vibe Code app, and when I press it, it errors out because I'm testing it in the Vibe Code app and I want it to link to the Vibe Code app. So that's why I was running into problems. So now it actually opens the Vibe Code app. Oh, okay, so on web, it opens the desktop version, which does not work. Don't try to use it. I mean, I guess it does kind of work, but anyway. Don't worry about that. Okay, so that's great, that worked. All right, now what do I wanna do next? I think I'm just gonna add some more themes. And so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna clear history to get a fresh chat. And just, that's always important to clear the history so that your agent has a very small context window now that we're working on something else. Please analyze the code base and really think about how the five themes have been added to the phone. I want you to really think about that. I want you to add five more themes and I want them to be of similar quality. These are really high quality themes. And so look at the themes. I want one of them to be teenage engineering and then come up with four other ones and make them look really good. And I want to be able to copy them to my clipboard the same as the other ones. All right, so I just ran a prompt. I wasn't recording. These make it so that I can only copy a theme to my clipboard once I've signed in. So I want this to be the page the users dropped into, but when I go to copy the clipboard, it should make me sign in so we get the user's information. And eventually if we do wanna add payments, we can connect payments to the database but I want people to have to sign in. And so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, let's take a look at the five new ones. So here we have Mono, very light and elegant, Teenage Engineering, nice. We have Muji, Dieter, Memphis, and Kinfolk. Okay, please fix the Memphis theme. It looks a little strange. The bottom buttons, like the bottom gray thing doesn't fit. Maybe it's supposed to do that. Just take a look at this and see if something's wrong with it and fix it. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to copy this and go to the image tab, copy. Now we can just select it, add to prompt. Please look and fix this and we can run that. Oh yeah, let's test the feature. So let's see if when we press copy, okay, now it makes us sign in. We can sign up. I'm gonna enter my information. Okay, account created successfully. Oh wait, so it's still updating here. Let's see if I'm signed in. Okay, so I am signed in. I can't go back once I'm signed in, so I'll fix that. When I'm on my profile screen, there's no way to go back. Please move everything down and just make it look like the rest of the app. Even when I said I'm signed in, the themes just don't align, so please fix that. So we can run that prompt as well. So now it should let me copy the theme, theme copied. And now if I can click on this, it shows me the whole thing and I can, ver I can click with one click build on vibe code, which is really cool. Okay, let's go check Memphis. There we go. That looks a lot better. Very nice. Oh, I didn't realize we could scroll on these. Okay, very cool. Very, very interesting. I can copy the theme since I'm signed in. Now I can test if I can go back. Okay, now I can hit this X button and we can go back. Very cool. So we have authentication. I don't want to add payments because I want this to be a lead magnet for the Vibe Code app so that when people click copy, what they're going to want to do is they're just going to want to click this button and build it in the Vibe Code app. And so we can use this as an ancillary product to Vibe Code and you can indeed sign in. I think this is a good MVP. I think I'm ready to ship this to the App Store. So now what I need to do is I just need to go up to share, publish to the App Store, get started. I'm gonna click all three of these buttons. We're gonna hit next. I'm gonna sign in with my Apple developer account. And since I've already connected my Apple developer account, I can just put in that information. If you haven't created your Apple developer account, I'll put a link in the description. It'll take a little bit. It might take 30 minutes to get set up for the first time, but I'll include a resource down below. I'm gonna change the app name to copy theme. And this is version number one. Are we gonna support iPad? I'm not going to for now. And now we can generate an icon, a phone mock-up in the style of teenage engineering. This can always be changed later. Now we can generate this icon and boom, look at this. This looks pretty good. Use as app icon for now, next. 
now we need to connect it to our expo account. If, um, oh yeah, that's the next. So this, all you do right here is just press next. Now we need to connect it to expo since I've already done this. All you have to do is create a new account with Expo. It's free for your first like 30 bundles. So this is free for you to try. You're going to click on this and I'll just show you real quick. If you click on this, it'll just take you to a place where you can sign in and then you get your Expo token. And all you'll do is you'll hit create token. I've already done it and it's already in the app, so I don't need to do it. I'm just going to hit start build and boom, your app is on the way to the app store. Oh yeah, by the way, this will pop up. So we're just gonna hit allow and there's gonna be a code that we need to type in, 904-836, submit code, and it'll continue generating some stuff. Okay, so it said build finished. Now it's ready for App Store submission and I can monitor it on Expo. And so if you go to overview within Expo, you can see the submission and so I can click on this and it is currently building, I believe, but here is the build. It submitted it to Apple iOS App Store submission and it looks like it's done. And so if we go to App Store Connect, we're going to uh, click on apps and you'll notice here, it should say copy theme. And if we click on test flight, we will see that it is still processing. So our test flight build, which will allow us to test our app before we send it to the App Store, like the actual App Store, is building. And since I have to be done filming in five minutes, I'm not gonna go through this process on film, but by the time you watch this video, it should be on the App Store and you'll be able to download copy theme, but it's just processing the build. And this does take like 15 to 20 minutes sometimes, so be ready to wait a little bit. And once I'm done with this on distribution, there's some things that I need to do, like App Store screenshots, which are really easy to use, description, and a few other things. And I've talked about this a lot in other videos. It's not too hard. You can literally ask Claude. You can take a screenshot of this and be like, what do I need to do for this? It's not that difficult. And when you're done, just hit add for review. Anyway, so we built that app with Claude Opus 4.5 using Claude Code in the Vibe Code app. Vibe Code uses Claude Code out of the box. And I've created a live stream that we're gonna do on January 24th, 2026. It's gonna be a free live stream. I think I'm gonna cap it at around a thousand people. So if you wanna to come to that, the link is in the description. It's gonna be a massive event. We're gonna talk about how to set up Claude Code. We're gonna talk about using it for web apps, for mobile apps, and as a general agent. Multiple of the developers I work with are gonna be joining us. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and we're gonna be giving something away during the live stream. It's gonna be awesome. So for those of you who wanna to come to the live stream, join us, it's gonna be sick. It's free. So anyway, thank you guys. I'll see you here for the next video.